Hi everyone, in today's lesson we will discuss in another topic from system analysis and design subject and the topic is multifaceted role of system analyst. Okay, so before coming to this topic, I just want to tell you that if you guys have not seen my last lesson where I have discussed everything about various participants involved in the system development activity, then I would just recommend you guys to watch that lesson as well. And if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe it first, watch this lesson completely and if you like this lesson then don't forget to click on the like button. Okay, so now let us start our discussion with the topic of multifaceted role of system analyst. Okay, now our first point is system analyst is a key member of any system development project. The system analyst is the most important and the key member of any system development activity because he or she will be responsible in continuously monitoring the process of the system development and continuously guiding each and every staff or department of the system development and the system analyst will be continuously involved in each and every phases of system development. Okay, and the system analyst will be knowing everything about the system. That's why the team will be dependent on the system analyst. That's why here the system analyst is been termed as the key member of the system development process. Okay, now we'll see the next point. Who observes the process determine what system needs to achieve. Okay, so the system analyst, as I have said, it will be continuously observing the behavior of the system, continuously keep on monitoring the status of the development process and also system analyst will figure it out what objectives needs to be fulfilled by the system and how the system needs to satisfy the requirements of the user. The system analyst will be responsible in determining the goals and objectives of the system. Okay, now the next point is check how it's possible to improve current system. Okay, the responsibility of the system analyst is also to figure it out if there is any problem in the system then how to fix those problem. If the system is not behaving properly as per the expectation of the client then how to make correction in the system all those are the responsibilities of the system analyst. Now the next is analyze the requirements. Yes. When the system analyst will be sitting with the client to collect the requirements, okay, apart from those requirements which are given from the client, system analyst will be capable enough to add few more requirements by their own experience, by their own knowledge. Okay, so the system analyst should have that capability of analyzing more and more requirements in the system so that they can make a better system so that they can provide efficient system to the customer okay now the next point is connect the concept of operational world to technical concepts okay so the client will be having their own requirements and those requirements will be completely based on the operational world or operational area or environment where the client will be working Okay, so the responsibility of the system analyst is to create or develop such kind of system which is capable enough to automate the requirements of the operational world into technical concepts. So here the responsibility of the system analyst is to transform or automate the day-to-day -day activities of the organization or the client into technical concepts. Okay, now the next one is translate user requirements to system development concept. Yes, whenever user will be giving the requirements, then the responsibility of the system analyst is to take those requirements and try to transform those requirements in the form of system development concepts. Now the next point is system analyst needs to perform following roles. So as I have told you that system analyst has multiple roles to perform and those roles are a system analyst can be a change agent a system analyst can be an investigator and monitor an architect a system analyst can be termed as a psychologist a motivator okay so these are the various roles of a system analyst 
in an organization okay so we will see each and every of these roles in this lesson okay now we will see the first role of a system analyst and that role is a change agent okay so now a candidate system is designed to introduce change and reorientation as per users organization handles the information and make decision okay so whenever a client approaches the development team then there may be two possibilities first is that a client may ask the development team to develop a brand new system and the second possibility is that the client may ask the development team to make changes in the already existing system now the requirement of the client is suppose the client have already a system suppose client already have a system which the client will be using from many years in their organization and due to some advancement in the technology and due to some requirements of that organization gets changed now client wants the development team to add those requirements in the system already existing system so now in this case the development team needs to make changes in the already existing system as per the new requirements of the client okay so that's what here they are saying a candidate system a system which is been already developed and there has to be some changes needs to be made in that candidate system now that's what we are trying to say in this sentence a candidate system is designed to introduce change and reorientation yes now the client wants to make changes in the system now client wants to make some reorientation in the already existing system as per the users organization yes because there are some ad technology advancement in the users organization and the development team needs to incorporate those technological advancement in the already existing system so that client can use that candidate system in the organization to handle the information and make decision yes that is the major purpose of system so that they can feed data or store data inside the system or information inside the system and based on that information the system will produce the output or reports and based on those reports the organization will make the decision okay so now the one of the role of the system analyst is to make changes in that system so that's why the term change agent is been assigned to a system analyst because the one of the responsibility of the system analyst is to make changes in the system as per the requirements okay now we'll see the next point change must be accepted by the user yes those changes should be accepted by the user it should not be happen that after making changes the system will be something which is been not expected by the client okay now the next one is user acceptance can be achieved by allowing the user to participate during design and implementation yes so now how the users acceptance can be achieved and the best way is to allow the user to participate during the design and implementation process because at that time where the development team will be working on the design and implementation if the development team started facing any difficulties in terms of requirements then they can consult this issue with the user itself okay and at that time itself the problem gets solved and there are high chances that they can create such kind of system which can be accepted by the user now we will see the last point and the point is must be careful not to make too many changes in the system okay so while the development team making changes in the already existing system they need to be careful enough that they don't make too much of changes in the system because of which some of the major functionalities will get disturbed and if they make too much of changes in the system then their system will start responding unexpectedly okay so this thing they need to keep in their mind while making changes during the development okay now we'll see the second role of a system analyst and that role is investigator and monitor okay so now let us see the first point system analyst figure out why the existing system does not work well 
and what changes will correct the problem okay suppose the system started responding unexpectedly and that behavior was not at all accepted by the system now in that case the responsibility of the system analyst is to investigate that system and find out and figure it out what is the problem in behaving that system unexpectedly and once the problem is been identified then in system analyst also needs to come up with the better solution which can fix that problem okay so now in this case the system analyst also needs to act as an investigator to investigate or to figure out the problem and try to fix the problem okay now the next point is analyst must continuously keep on monitor the status and make sure that the project should reach the deadline okay and the system analyst also needs to be acts as a monitor or a supervisor and the system analyst continuously need to keep an eye on the status of the development how much project is been completed so far system analyst also needs to keep track whether the system will be going to develop within the deadline or within the specified time or not or whether we will be going to end up with the short of time okay all these things needs to be taken care by the system analyst during the development of the system okay now we'll see the last point the project should fulfill time cost and quality okay so while developing process the system analyst needs to make sure that the project will gets completed within the given frame of time okay deadline has to be met and that project has to be completed within the provided cost and the quality also needs to be maintained okay so all these parameters needs to be followed during the development process and the responsibility of the system analyst is to verify or to monitor and check all these problems now the third role of a system analyst is an architect okay so now let us see that point like an architect system analyst also creates a detailed physical design of candidate system okay so how an architect used to design the prototype or a model of a building before construction get started exactly the same way system analyst also needs to guide their development team to come up with a detailed structural design of that software with the help of that design the system analyst can depict or demonstrate the internal and external behavior of that system to the client and take approval from the client so this is an another role of a system analyst okay now the next role of a system analyst is a psychologist okay let's see the first point system should build as per user's perspective okay so when the system analyst will be having an initial conversation with the customer or with the client since the customer or the client comes from non technical background so even if the client is not able to convey the requirements the system analyst should be capable enough to understand what the client wants to say so in that case the system analyst needs to behave as a psychologist and the system analyst team try to develop the system by keeping users perspective in their mind okay now the next point is analyst must take users feedback on system functionalities and try to understand their thoughts on proposed system so while developing the system the system analyst continuously used to take the feedback of the client and try to understand their point of view on the system by continuously taking feedback from the user okay so this is the fourth role of a system analyst where the system analyst will be behaving as a psychologist okay now we will see the last role of a system analyst and the role is a motivator so throughout the system development activity the role of a system analyst as a motivator is very important okay and the system analyst needs to continuously keep on motivating their team so that the system analyst can take the best out of their team 
okay whenever the development team started facing problem the system analyst needs to continuously keep on motivate them the system analyst always try to keep their team morale up okay and whenever they gets tired out the system analyst always try to boost their confidence so that they can come up with a better system okay so this is one of the important role of a system analyst during the system development activities okay so these are the various roles of a system analyst which can be seen during the entire process of system development life cycle activities okay so i hope you guys have understood each and every role of a system analyst and it's an important question and in this lesson i have tried my level best to make you understand what are the meaning of these roles and what is a system analyst is all about okay so i hope you guys have understood and that's all for this lesson and thanks for watching